Alright. So. I am on Bubari at my Magnifer outpost. Um, I am really close to the center of the galaxy. I figured I'd uh, record this, especially since a few of the things I've been trying to get done, like defeating uh, Baldur's Gate, uh, Dark Alliance, <coughs> like on extreme difficulty and, and doing the, the Drizdoward and Dungeon, the Gauntlet. Um, and there was something else I did. Oh, <laughs> the Crucible Knight. And each of those times, I never recorded my voice. Just because, I don't know, it, I guess it's one of those things where it's like I didn't think I would actually do it. Um, so I figured I'd record this because well, I actually thought of it and I'm really close. Um, I'm really excited to see the end of this. I, uh, or I don't even know if this is the end. I'm just guessing when you get to the center of the galaxy and it's got to be something awesome, right? So, uh, I figured to just record it and uh, put a little commentary to it. Um, now, I'm sure it's going to be just a bunch of me jumping because I'm only 65,000 light years and stuff um <clears throat> but I mean it shouldn't take too long hopefully an hour <laughs> at least or at most rather that's how long uh, I can record for uh, but yeah this is pretty exciting I, I mean this is exciting not in a thrilling way but kind of just in a comp an accomplishing way. I have been trying to get to the center of the galaxy with other characters and uh it just takes so long. It takes forever. But um this is like the longest uh, save I've had, I guess. In terms of longest playtime and um actually doing things uh, so I figured I'd you know, try to get it done with this one I also got incredibly lucky with a black hole <coughs> it uh it spit me out like I don't know 300 like 300,000 light years away from the center and I was like that's pretty fucking close um, especially considering you start like, I don't know, like 900 or more thousand away from, from the center. Um, I got this freighter and I like got really lucky with getting a bunch of the salvageable frigate modules. So I was able to get the boosters for the... Uh, what do they call it? Like the the hyper jumps or whatever. Um, so I'm just like, fuck it, stick with it. And uh, it's been kind of nice because I've been uh, like, this is all it is. It's just this jumping over and over and over again because I got it maxed, and now I can do like 2,600 light years of jump. Um, and I got really lucky with finding a, a storm crystal planet, which let me build the, uh, the hyper core warp drives, um, which instead of using five warp drives to get five jumps, you just need one hyper one to get five jumps. So, uh, you know fuel efficiency uh, 
but still, it is a long process. Um, you know, 26, yeah, at minimum 2,600 uh, light years of jump. And like I said, the black hole spat me out at like 300,000, so it was. I'm not good enough at math to give you an exact number of how many jumps I've been doing, but I'm sure if you have time and you enjoy numbers, go for it, figure it out. Um, but yeah, you know, 55,000, just closer and closer, creeping in. Um, but it's been nice doing these, like I've just been... Uh, either listening to podcasts or uh, or music, obviously. Um, but also, there's this uh, person on YouTube that I've been following, and uh, they've been playing like the old Silent Hill games, like one, two, and three. I'm not watching two just because that remaster's coming out soon, and you can bet your fucking ass I'm getting that. And so I kind of just don't want to, I mean, as much as I love those games and I, I love even just rewatching somebody play through them, um, I don't know, I just don't want to get spoiled, even though I already know how the game ends. Um, I don't know, I'm just weird like that. But uh, recently I'm watching someone play... Silent Hill 3, which was actually my favorite one. It was actually the the first Silent Hill game that I played. Like, actually played. I, I played one, but it was too fucking confusing. I was like, I don't know, 7 or 8. It was so confusing, and I was just a dumb kid. Um, so, I didn't really quite understand it. But, 3 came out while I was like in high school and you know I was just really big into horror games I really loved horror games I wasn't great at them but I, I just loved them I loved watching people play them I, you know like I love Dead Space I love uh, well I I know it's not really a horror game but I loved Dead Rising <laughs> It was goofy, but in some aspects, like with all the zombies and shit, it was just like, oh my god, I don't know if I can make it back to the security room. Uh, you know. <laughs> Trying to make sure you have enough food. And then you get the Mega Man blaster, and it doesn't fucking matter anymore. So. Um. Oh, that's another game. I just recently got the laser sword. Um. And it's incredible. <laughs> but it was, uh, I think that's one you have to survive for five days in survival mode. But you're not allowed to save the game. Or, can you save the game? I don't, know, I don't think you can save the game. I think you have to do it in one playthrough. Like, one sitting. And it took, I think, like 10 or 12 hours. It was crazy. Um, but, but getting the sword, man, it was awesome. It was just like, okay, I'm going to play through Dead Rising and only use the sword and the Mega Man Blaster because I'm ridiculous. But, alright, 50. Look at that. Less than, less than 100,000. I didn't think I'd ever see that. That's wild. Now I know there's an option to like give you a path to the galactic core, but I never know if that's like I don't know if that's actually faster. And since I'm impatient and stubborn um and in some aspects a contrarian, I'm just doing it my way. So <laughs> maybe I could get this done faster, but whatever. I don't care.
So just hang in tight, listen to me babble, and I'll try not to give you too much dead air. Unless you just can't stare at the sound of my voice. <laughs> Mushimi Sayato. No Grimo. That's a. I love that. I wish I had time to stop there. Put a base. That's the other thing I started trying to do is like get into the. Yeah, did she? Uh, try to get into the, uh, like, the extractors and stuff. Um, cause apparently that's, like, a crazy way to make money. I mean, I don't know. I did read that there was a patch recently that kind of nerfed that. Um, but still, it'd be fun to, like, have a whole system, like a whole grid of just extractors on the planet. Um, of course, I don't know if that's even going to matter once I <laughs> hit the center here. <clears throat> um, but whatever, I guess. At least I, uh, at least I got to play around with it. So for either another character, if there's like a, a new game plus, whatever. I really don't know. I Someone told me that if you get to the end... If you get to the center, it just there's another galaxy. And I don't know if that's true. I was like, that sounds ridiculous. Fuck. I can't oh there we go. Oh dang hoo hebu. Um That sounds a little ridiculous if there's another galaxy within the galaxy. But at the same time I mean that yeah, that would just be weird. It's like okay, so this is all pointless, right? Like just going to the center and doing everything. I mean, if it is another galaxy, I can definitely do like the. Like if it is basically a new game plus, um, I wouldn't mind checking out the the Atlas storyline. Um, I tried doing it with my, I think my first character, and uh, I mean that was years ago. Now with all these patches and stuff, I don't know what has changed or improved or whatever. I don't follow patch notes that closely. Um, mainly because I, I just don't have the attention span. Unless I'm really excited about it, then I'm just like, Oh my god, tell me more! Ah. But whatever. Isn't this exciting? God. <laughs> Just jumping, jumping, jumping. Oh, man. I wish I could, like, see how long I... I should, like, get a timer. So whenever I do these recordings, I can kind of see how long it's been going on. So I can kind of get an idea for pacing and stuff. Not that I'm going to be, like, some fucking Let's Play Pro channel or whatever. But still, it'd be nice to be able to get an idea of what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, 41,000 light years. And really fucking close, man. I would assume... Again, not good with math, but I would assume one more refill of my... Like, I do these five jumps, one more refill of... The hyperdrive and I'm there. If I can find a fucking system, my God, there we go, Jeffer. <laughs> Jeffer, that's great. I'm very happy I got that on a recording. <laughs> Welcome to the Jeffer system. <laughs> should have got a water. Fuck. Didn't think about it. I don't think I've actually <clears throat> talked at all today. Um, I had off today. And I, like, off work. And uh, I decided to 
just get some progress in No Man's Sky. Um, I didn't think I would get this close to the center, and now that I am this close, I'm just like, fuck it. Let's just go for it. I'll record it. Um, I just hope it doesn't make me like want to not play this game anymore, because it is such a... I don't know, like it's... Therapeutic isn't the right word. Uh, but it is just kind of like a really low-key game for me to play. Like if I'm just... You know, other games I play are like Cyberpunk, Elden Ring, um, World of Warships, which that game's also kind of low-key. I mean, it's competitive, so you gotta you know, kind of be a little bit more attentive. Um, but like Elden Ring, especially, is a super stressful game. Depending on the character I'm playing, um, but. When it's just like, okay, I've had enough. My anxiety is <laughs> a little too much right now. So, um, I like to either decompress with No Man's Sky or Minecraft. Because <laughs> to me, those games are just so low key and relaxing. 2666. Nice. That's almost my employee number at an undisclosed location that I cannot talk about. Mm. Lots of nothing. They really captured just the vastness of space. God, I love it. I love this game. I tried playing Elite Dangerous because I just, you know, I, I love this game and I wanted more games like it. Because I'm not really, yeah, uh, I never really got into like Eve Online. Um, but I wanted to try Elite Dangerous just because it's like, you know, I heard the, the, like, flight controls and that. It's like, nigh simulation levels. And I would, excuse me, I would agree. It's really impressive, but it's also, I don't know, kind of really boring. Um, which is crazy because I love boring games. But there is like a level of boring that's just like. Uh, I think with Elite Dangerous, it'd be one of those games I would like to play with someone if it's. if you can co op that game, which I think you can. I mean, not like co op, but, you know, encounter other players and stuff. I think that's possible. I could be wrong. Um. And EVE Online is just too complicated. Excuse me. I am way too fucking stupid to do that game. I forgot to see how close we were. Last time it was like 33. I think if it's like... Once it's under like 26,000 light years, that's it. It is the home stretch. I haven't been keeping track of my jumps. Here we go. I think this is. Oh, we're out of fuel already. Shit. Damn. Mm. Might need to make another uh, hypercore. I should have just did it right there. I don't know why I didn't. Alright, just in case. Here we go. Probably. 
probably going to need that hypercore, though. Now I think about it. But look at this. Look how fucking close we are. Look, look at that. I love that. Where it's like that, like a solid line almost of stars. I, I saw that not too long ago and was like, whoa. Oh shit, I went too far. Uxing Uka. Is some of the names in this. I mean, it's all like procedurally generated, so but like some of the words <laughs> just so bizarre. He names his stuff. I mean, coming from the guy who named his base Magnifer, but that's uh short for magnetized ferrite. So there's a reason. I called it that. <clears throat> you know, this might actually feel pretty good to I feel good to just kind of not play No Man's Sky for a bit. Just kind of close the book on it for a little. So I don't really play it as much as I used to. Um, then again, it'll be kind of nice to play it and not be like, oh, I just got to sit through loading screens of just jumping to different systems over and over and over and over and over again. You know, I can just kind of play the game however I want to do it. That's one thing that I kind of, I've really wanted to do is almost like roleplay a character. Um, which, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll do kind of like a, like a let's play of that. Like if I did like the Atlas storyline or something. Um, we'll see. I, uh... It's just kind of hard to, like, let's play No Man's Sky, right? Like, it's mostly doing nothing. Um, or just doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, which is, you know, boring. But at the same time, uh, kind of relaxing. I could speed this up. <laughs> skip, skip, jump, skip. That's all right. It's like tension, right? Suspense, anticipation. I really should have gotten water. Oh, I should stop talking this much. Less than 20,000. Wow. Look, another one of those. What the hell? I've, like, never seen the, this before, like, this phenomenon. To Metro, do it. Do it. <gasps> Excuse me. I haven't really done much of anything today, so I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I need to get off my ass and like do dishes and stuff. 
but I don't wanna. I just want to eat grubs. So happy I found out about like that speed up, like um, that was weird. Um, when you're like going through the star map, you can just press the R1 button and it super speeds up your scrolling. God, doing that before was such pain, such a drag. I don't even know what made me try it. I think because of the whole, like, you know, like the whole, um, what do they call that? Like the melee bash jump, where you, like, use a melee weapon with your, or, you, like, you melee with your gun and then also jetpack at the same time. And, like, launches you. I think that's immediately what I thought. I was like, oh, what if I just press R1 and it'll speed me up? Sometimes. Stupid ideas are amazing. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Oh boy. Oh, no hyperdrive. 14 naked cowboys out in the yard. There we go. Alright, kiddos. Here we go. This is it. Fuck it. I'll just do this one. Mulling. Mulling puss? <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's just weird ass names. Mulling puss. Mulling puss. I'm mulling puss. Eh. It's better. Better than mulling puss. <laughs> yeah, man, I was fucking mulling so much puss last time. Okay, that's stupid. I'm sorry. I apologize. How was your weekend, dude? Man, I was mulling puss like crazy. <laughs> Malingpus. Malingpus. Right. Sure. Why briar for? Or briar for? Are we under ten thousand now? Or be like at ten thousand. My god. Dude, I, I might need another fucking I mean I could just make like a, a normal whoop jump thing. I might just do that. If it's like one fucking more Oh wait a minute, that looks different. Looks different, right? No? I think I'm just tripping. I'm losing it. Never mind. say does it like look brighter out the closer you get I haven't been like leaving my ship or anything so I wasn't sure if it looks any different when you're out here I mean I'm guessing that's the center or that's the Sun mm. Ten thousand getting crazy. Oh yeah, good hacky boys and girls. But probably boys is nobody. 
Oh my god, I just got an alert from Alexa. I could have a personal recommender for a book. My god. What can't they do with technology these days? Yeah, maybe it didn't look any different. I think I was just freaking out. Look at how close we are. Look at how fucking close. We are on the brink. Oh, you bastard. Oh, oh, oh. Get a love. Get a love, you. I really wish you were able to fly your freighter. Like, yeah, you can make it jump to a system, but I wish you could, like, fly it. Like, free fly it. It'd be so cool. I'm sure it'd drive like a fucking boat, but... <gasps> it's the end. What do I do? Do I just keep going? Dead. Hang on. I'm just gonna go back to this. Alright, that was a little weird. Started to panic a little bit. Okay. Uh, WX dead. We'll go to. What's the last one we should do? Ooh, definitely a pirate system. There we go. Now I wonder, do I have to do it in my starship? You know? Oh, uh, now I should have done the Galactic Core thing. Yep. That would have been the perfect time to do that. was my last one. That was my last job. Fuck it. Alright. Galactic core. Oh, it has to be this. The right. So curious. <laughs> Hope I don't like lose all my shit though. 
Uh, uh oh. Game freeze. Oh no, I haven't saved. Ah oh, man. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't discover this. That's for damn sure. Save that. What's that? Safe beacon. Oh, somebody left some safe beacons. Okay, so now what? Is there like a... Like somewhere I should go? in this. I want to do it in my freighter. The ISS Blessing of Karis. CSS 12 Theron. I have like two other ships over there, but I don't really care about them right now. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, how do I target it? Do I have to just. do it with the freighter. Maybe I have to do it with the... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I have to do it with my uh, starship. That kind of sucks. Oh. Oh. Hyperdrive has no fuel. What? Talk about. It's got plenty of fuel. Really gonna make me fucking. Do I have to have like a hundred? See you guys on the other side. That's awesome because it's kind of like the reverse of the, uh, like when you load into your game.
sick guitar riffs, bro. That drummer's going awesome. gonna show me like the starting system or the starting uh yeah the starting system I did no hmm? the Hilbert dimension man can I go to the Hilbert dimension wow Now, am I basically at the edge of this one? How does this work? Wow, it is basically New Game Plus. I still have all my shit. Everything's just damaged. Fuck yeah. That's sick. Kind of. Alright. Hell yeah. Got that shit repaired. Um, fix my mining beam. Fix my, fix my terrain thing. Yes. Oh shit, my bad. I totally forgot. Let's do the second thing. Overheight. So yeah, new game plus. The snowy planet. Well, concludes one journey. Start of another one. Wow. It's actually really awesome. <laughs> I guess whoever... I really don't remember who told me that you go to a new system, but... They were right. Makes me wonder if there's other endings. Like if you just go to the galactic core, it's like, okay, you just go to a new dimension. New new galaxy or whatever. And there it is. I gotta fix my ship too. Wow. Alright. Well. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, until next time, I guess.